Ready in five, four, three, two. What a do YouTube, Apple Podcast, Spotify, wherever you're hearing us or watching us from. This is the Sweet Action Podcast. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Sweet Action Podcast. If you're a new or returning viewer, we fucking appreciate you as always. Thank you for stopping by and fucking with us. We got the same crew as always. Across, not across next to me, I got the homie Trey Prime. Trey, right here, baby. On the other side right here, I got the homie George. George, 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 George. And right in front of me, we got the one and only, the pastrami daddy, aka John, aka my boy. Yeah. So John? AKA what's up, what's up, birthday what's up, what's up, what's up? boy. Close, close, close. We were yesterday. Yeah, birthday, boy. yesterday. birthday boy. <laughs> birthday boy. Birthday boy. Birthday boy. Hey, happy birthday, John. Make sure you guys wish John a happy birthday. He yeah, turned 15. Your, if, the big if, two one. Yeah, for those of you guys. Legal that, for me. For those for those of you guys that have, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. You guys know who you guys are. For uh, those who guys were, for those you guys who said happy birthday to me, oh, okay, you yeah, didn't say that you, you guys definitely reached out. So. And exactly, and um, we just want to say also thank you guys for all the fucking support we've been getting, especially on the last episode with Chris. Yeah. That video is a fucking banger. If you have not fire. watched it, you are fucking missing out, bro. Please yeah. go and find out the secrets about being an OnlyFans star. The secrets about just fucking the c- industry and some porn, penis, penis cheat codes. Go Facts. fucking watch. Please, I promise you're not gonna regret it. So shout out to Chris, shout out to uh, you know everyone that supported that yeah. one and enjoyed it, and also shout out to every single one of you fucking cute ass motherfuckers. I fucking love you guys. Hit 200 followers. Let's go. Yay! It's a it's a milestone. fucking uh, it's a little milestone. It's a little milestone. Yeah, and then also in that episode, I feel like we, I don't, we definitely don't cover all, but we cover most questions that you guys are thinking. For sure, <laughs> plus more. So definitely go check that out, yeah. please. And child. there will be a part two. So if you guys want to comment oh, yeah, down definitely. questions and all that, let us know. Let yeah, us know. there's definitely enough to make another part two, or to make a part two. Yeah. A part two, and the best part of all, we're on episode fucking ten, bro. Let's Woo! go. The big one, no. I don't know. <laughs> our big, big, our big ten. Finally, yeah. bro. I don't know if you guys know this, but on the boys podcast, which uh, rest in peace to that, uh, we stopped after the ninth episode that was it that was our quinto partido yeah that was it that's where it, our, we didn't keep pushing our quinto partido bro i don't know what the fuck <laughs> that means but that's good bro in the world cup mexico never goes past the the, the fifth game those, <laughs> quinto partido. Those, those, quinto partido, those, bro. those cocksuckers for those who know bro y'all know what's up we passed our quinto partido bro hey so thank you guys for sticking through bro thank you everybody just truly fucking thank you and i'm i'm, I'm feeling good bro yeah uh how you guys feeling tonight bro i just got off of work had a long day? Yeah, not a long Master day. Master got me working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing that today. <laughs> How are you feeling, bro? Master D. I, I feel got good. Me working. But this food tray comes in. I want your number. Da, 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 da. Lift the heavy shit. Shut up. Talk your shit, John Press hey, that fool. Cut this wood. It's only all day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry. I got a cooler job, dog. Yo. Whoa. I was hitting up John, like, hey, give me a job. Dog, I drove a R35 today. I drove this fucking limited edition five. Hot Wheels fucking SSR. Five. That should it should look like a, a real Hot Wheel. Five. <laughs> that shit was tight. It was it's a really it was a really good day at work for me. Personally. My boy's vibing. Just turned 21 yesterday. That was a big milestone for yeah. your fucking life. We we have clips that we're gonna put on Instagram for you guys to look out for. Definitely Back. of me giving a blowjob. Giving we'll a blowjob. Kelsey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, they gotta pay for that one, brother. They gotta pay for that one hey, on our Patreon. Hey, Chris really put y'all on, huh? Chris. On our, yeah. I, well, hey, once he told us what he was making, I was like, "Come Sheesh. on, hey, sweet action, no more. Sweet action pornos is what we're going." <laughs> All right. Funny that you mentioned sweet action no more because I think today we want to try something a little new. Yeah, and just being genuine. We want to obviously tell you guys thank you for really supporting us and sticking through. And that's why I think it's time to open up. You know, we want to open up with you guys, connect maybe with some of you guys. And that, when you mentioned that, it kind of got me thinking because of the thing we've been wanting to say. But you just turn, I want to start with you because you're the one that's on the spotlight. On yeah, the spotlight. what's up? You just turned 21. And obviously you, you joked around like reacting to more. And Trey was talking about like you got a cool job, all this bullshit. I want to know kind of like where is your life heading now or where would your life be heading without this because we all want this go to work yeah. we all want this to work we all want to 
make this fucking uh, something booming. You know what I'm saying? Mm. A business. So take this out. Where is your life heading outside of this, John? I think because just recently I had a conversation with uh, with my boss at, at work and how I told him that I've been thinking about getting more into photography. And I don't know if you I mean, I, I told you guys afterwards or I think I told uh, one of you guys uh, after that whole Chris episode where we took pictures and stuff like that. And I really felt it again because for a long time, I, I mean, even now, I mean, I still don't do pictures as much as I did, you know, way back. But just doing something like that of him, like showing off his fucking his perfect teeth, by the way, Those are nice his teeth. fucking his <laughs> jewelry and his teeth and stuff like that, like a being mouth. Being as creative as I wanted to be and not having to hold back. And I mean, even when we were sending pictures in the group chat and stuff, um, I was even sending bl uh, colored and black and white because I, I felt like I can do whatever I wanted with these pictures. And I felt the, the power that I had back then. So I feel like without sweet action, like if this wasn't a thing, I think I'd probably be trying to. Well, I think I'd probably be trying to push more into into photography again. Definitely for me, because um, yeah, I just I don't want to be stuck parking cars. Yeah, it's it's a fun job. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, me again, me and my boss, because he does photography and he's he's an actor and stuff. So oh. yeah, yeah, he he does acting. He was a a hand model for Walmart at one oh, point. Damn. Yeah, um, but we talked about how that valet job. It's a fun job. It pays well, but the thing is, don't get stuck. Because you can get comfortable with the money, but it's not something that you're going to want for the rest of your life, for mm -hmm. sure. He said, bro, you shouldn't be here by before two years. Your two years is up. He's like, you got to get out of here. He's so like, Cause I don't want to be stuck here. So he's saying after two years, like, get the fuck out. Yeah. How long yeah. are you in right now? As of now, I think I'm going on like eight, nine months now, maybe. Okay, so you said a little bit. Yeah. Time. And I mean, that's good Makes because. Money. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I'm going to tell you straight up. Um, when George had mentioned to me that you were trying to sell your camera and all that, I was in a way like disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like well, you sold his camera for a good reason. It's not yeah. Yes and no. The reason I disagree is because obviously everyone's different scenarios and all that. But I think something like that—that's your baby, mm -hmm. and she should stick with you through thick and thin. And what you don't know about that is I plan to sell my camera to buy another camera. Oh, then that's different. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I plan to sell my camera to buy another camera that I personally feel is more suited for what I want to do. Yeah, this camera, I for love the it. The type of photos stuff. you do. Yeah. Because okay, yeah. as homies, I thought, you, I never heard of that. I thought you were like, because I remember you said you were kind of like giving up on the photo things. And yeah. that's it, why I was like, you're selling camera because you're giving up. And that's why I was disappointed. No, 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 no. Uh, like definitely because again, like after I talked to him, because this was maybe like three weeks ago that that we talked about it, or maybe a little bit less than that, and it did open my eyes to where again, I don't want to bore people with fucking camera talk, but I love this camera and it's a very powerful camera. But the thing is, it's too powerful for what I want it to do. You know what I mean? You never like have too it, much power. Uh, I mean, I just <laughs> for what I want and the creativeness that I'm going towards. Yeah, I get it. Like, would you rather have too much or not enough? But at the same time, I don't need all that extra stuff. It's nice to have it, but at the same time, I feel fine going another route. You know what I mean? Especially where that camera or the camera that I want is a little bit cheaper and that extra money, I can use it to put it into my fucking my dream car, you know? Because <laughs> I have it, but I still haven't got that bitch running. Just yet, you know, still needs a little more time. Chase house, bro. Yeah, yeah. mom you know? wants that shit out of it. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah sure. you know. So, well, well, all right, then I, I kind of see what you're going with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what about you, Georgie? Take out sweet action. Where's your life heading at, bro? Like, I mean, pretty much like sweet action to me, it's like it adds on to what I already have going on. You know, besides like church, and I mean, I I, I like kind of run my own business too. So it's like that was that's pretty that's pretty that was doing pretty good but then you know covid started and obviously like everything actually went down a little bit but i was kind of in the boat where where john was because after you do what i do and you work for other people and you start having to do things or having to do shoots or like videos or whatever that other people want like you start to lose your own 
your own voice. You start to lose your own vision because other than that, you're just tailoring your job for other people. Mm. Yeah. And it gets to a point where it's like, I'm not even doing it for me no more. Uh, like, I'm just doing it also, for you. Also, yeah. like, they're not hiring for your work. Like, what's you? Exactly. They're hiring yeah. me because of my knowledge like and my skill. skill. Yeah. But they want me. And it's and it's fine because at the end of the day, bro, that pays the bills. And of that's course, why I do yeah. it. And I mean, it's still fun, mm -hmm. you know, because I still create. But I'm not creating my vision. I'm not creating mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and it, and it gets to a point where, like, bro, you start losing the love for it. Is like that, that yeah. passion. I had a question because is that why you also don't post that many pictures on Instagram? Yeah, because a lot of the time, like it's a bunch of client work, a bunch of like uh, other stuff, like houses and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, brother, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. like it's not me. Like what's on my page is stuff that I do that, like that I created, that I, you know, my vision. Yeah, I made it. And, then, you and, know? Then, and then also another thing that I mean, I don't know if people know this, but once you do something like that and with contracts involved mm -hmm. legally those pictures aren't yours anymore to post mm -hmm. yeah to you a know, certain those extent, yeah. are the customer's pictures now mm -hmm. or the client's pictures now mm -hmm. so that's why i mean i can see why you yeah know, you and i mean there's like a lot of companies too that that or people that i've worked for that are are like that they made me sign a contract saying yo like after this like we've we experienced it a little bit mm -hmm. um with with the, with one of the partners that we we're going to work with um like they were like oh yeah like they make me sign a contract pretty much saying that yo everything after the shoot after like it's edited after it's final like i have to hand it over yeah. which in a way it's good because when that happens i charge more mm -hmm. but at the same time it's like i don't have anything to post you know yeah. like i don't i, yeah. I, I was yeah. gonna say uh what is your voice like to explain it to me and carlos what do you mean I'm, your voice like you're like what is your end goal for like photography like like fish? for me like pretty much like like the, like, the little, like the little shoot that we did you mm -hmm. know was dope shooting concerts shooting sports like doing that so like bro that that bro i love that you that know environment. Like so, that's that that environment that so just like to have that like you know the backdrop like a little studio and then also being out in the field yeah like out in the field like bro like we did a fucking me and john did a concert not uh, like a while back like maybe like two years ago for a band yeah, definitely and bro it, i still go back to those pictures these like this day and i'm like damn bro like <sighs> i wish i was there bro. yeah like, yeah and I, it wasn't like, the it wasn't that long ago where he t he texted me and it was those pictures from that concert mm -hmm. like hey bro what do you think of this and I was like yeah bro those are good and it was shit mm -hmm. that I haven't even seen yet and or I've never seen before and he posted it mm -hmm. the ones that that I liked like after my feedback and stuff and then that's also another reason why I kind of didn't want to do photography I mean photography mm -hmm. uh wedding anymore mm -hmm. because me and George used to shoot weddings and stuff but at the same time it's like it's not what I liked yeah yeah, yeah it wasn't photography but I didn't like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same yeah. thing. You want us because to go back to you about like what was your vision in like uh, uh the same, oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> now, but almost the same thing as George, where um like sports and stuff like that, concerts for sure, mainly concerts because I, I've shot maybe two, two or three, three concerts three. and I always loved them. Always loved every single picture that picture I took. Five. And I, to, and I was gonna say sorry to cut you off, but if we went to that Flatbush concert and you took your camera, like, yeah, uh, I know, I know you could have got some fire. Yeah, pictures, and, and the thing one. is, I I feel like I'm personally not a cocky person. I mm -hmm. feel like in some aspects I can, but I know when it comes to photography in concerts, I get really cocky because I know I can do my shit right there. Mm -hmm. I know oh, I can get creative as I want, mm -hmm. and that's where I feel my highest at. Yeah, that's really in, in, in oh, photography. Yeah, yeah, you know, fire, bro. yo, any any yeah. any artists out there? Anybody that wants some uh, fire ass photos, videos, whatever you want during you, a concert. Sweet action, baby. Facts. Pastrami yeah. photos. Yo, bad Juicy bunny. Star, my, cool. my guy Benito, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Facts, bro. But uh, Trey, what about you, bro? What Life without suit action, where are you heading, bro? Yeah, Where's your life dumb. heading? I don't know why when he said my name, my heart dumb. dropped. <laughs> yeah, me neither, but, I, <laughs> but keep the show going. Come on now. Um, For me, I there was a point in time where I actually wanted to become a therapist. And mm, I didn't know. And I can see. Uh, mm. I can see. Uh, but, Dr. Trey. Uh, no, no. Uh, future America Trey sitting like Ah, uh, true. <laughs> little turtleneck. It, it was. <laughs> what stopped me was just time it was like you know actually pushing myself to go to school and stuff like that mm. for it and then also i would always hear around me like from people like oh, therapy sucks like da 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 da. but that's not what contradicted me from like oh like i don't want to do it anymore like nothing like that it was just more of also how do i get into it and i never had like the resources or anything to get into it or try to go look for it and then met somebody that got me into cars and I like I started falling in love with them and actually like wanting to learn like the ins and outs of a car like it, like the mechanical the 
like like the wiring and all. No, you like just, all you the, just had you yesterday, remember being a little mechanic? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I had me <laughs> under a car in the heat, the heat just to get two bolts. Master got <laughs> oh, me working, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it's like it's cool. Like, and it's I like honestly, I want to have a garage like of cars that are mine. Also, I could just work on it and like people could bring their cars to change their brakes, oil, and like you know, also want to do like tents and like I want to have a full garage where I could do everything yeah and that's something that me and trey have been little by little and kind of investing in Mm -hmm. and that's our like like uh that two days ago like we finally got a our own fucking Mm. a jack jack and fucking jack stands we would always borrow the homies or i've at a time i had my ex's uh her brother's jack and then um like he had, I, I, out of the blue i just bought a set of tools Mm -hmm. yeah that we that we use that are ours now so it's like we don't have to worry. The only thing, the next thing we really need to get is just start getting impacts and stuff like that. Mm, yeah, yeah like I, the, the big shit, the good shit, you yeah. know? But yeah, definitely. And that's something that me and Trey have talked about. I was like, yo, like, let's try to aim to open a garage, you know? Yeah. And do something with that. Because I have now I have a passion for cars. Yeah. I love cars, you know? Cause, and then also, like, one, one way I want to start, like, taking that into consider, like, really start taking that is, like, just buying, like, those cheap, like, $500 cars and mm. taking them apart just or to learn, bro. Like taking them apart learn. and then also like probably even trying to see like what was really wrong with the car. Like, oh, the engine's blown. Shit's cooked. Get it out of here. Mm-hmm. But like, or even trying to rebuild an engine that was blown. Like shit like that. That's that's the shit I want to learn. To mm-hmm. the point where like, oh, like you turn on the car. I know what's wrong with it. That's where I want to get. Yeah. That's nice, bro. What would you do, Carly? Um, no, no, honestly, like me just being honest, like it just depends because, um, keep it short like not a lot of you guys know but like before this you know the whole gaming shit that was like my biggest fucking dream in life bro Mm -hmm. and obviously after that when i said you know what it's not smart for me to continue because of the positions that i'm in and i was like i want to focus on this this has always been like my plan b Mm -hmm. and that's the thing that was one thing i always did tell us was like like photography Mm -hmm. and stuff like you wanted to also be a director yeah like this whole industry anything that involves like producing creating all that that's that's always been my plan B and like my second like goal and that's the thing like my life my life without sweet action it unfortunately like I don't know what else I could do without because um I feel like I need this to work I need this to be in my life to get me going and get me distracted and that's why I'm very like passionate about it you know aside from our meetings and greetings whatever like mm-hmm. this is my only thing that I got going on mm-hmm I chose not to go to school. I don't, you know, I don't have any any construction inside of me. I don't mm-hmm. know, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So this is like my baby. And I've always said it, dude, if this thing doesn't work out for me, like, and I got don't know idea what to do, I don't know. It considers other things, maybe like, I don't know, maybe the, the, the military, but like, fuck it, bro. Like, what? You go to the army? Like, yeah, if you went to the military, like, what would you want to be a part shit of? Shit, like? pay him off. Shit, pay him <laughs> off. You know how they always, when they always come and try to recruit me, mm-hmm. the thing is, like, you can go do videos and stuff and all that shit. I'll fucking take the offer now, you know what I'm saying? Dog, they got her, like, the fucking shoeshine boys over there at the fucking <laughs> ball. <laughs> motherfucker can't say no. <clears throat> but in reality, that's Every just time. kind of, like, my life without this is definitely confusing. I don't know. I don't have a plan C. And probably my plan C would be that, like, just scare me out of here. Yeah. And uh yeah, I mean that's just kind of like that and um and I, I think that's a low point in my life. You know, going to like talking about maybe like our highest and lowest points. I feel like that's probably one of my lowest points where I'm every day reminded of like bro, like I don't know what to do with my life without this. Mm-hmm. Without having these goals of creating this mm-hmm. into something big. You know, I'm of just not having a dream anymore. Yeah, like that that exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm a guy that I feel like I need to complete one of my dreams. And I've always had two. Once I knew that age when you're like mature, like mm. not mature, but like you know kind of what your life's getting into, I always said it's those two things. Competing in esports or running slash being involved in this industry. Cause I was gonna say like sweet action when it takes off. Uh would you like with the money that you made, your personal money, would you would try to invest into an org? Like, uh, like, kind of separately. Oh, like that type yeah. of conflict. I mean, maybe if that if I'm still it, involved with, like, just curious about that because yeah. mm-hmm. sometimes like I'm losing, like yeah, you know, yeah. what I'm saying I miss it, but yeah. but in reality, it's like my lowest point. I feel like is that 
All right, not, not even just for COD, just like gaming in general. Like, it just depends if just my, depends. my passion's still there on that shit. But um, yeah, just I think that's my biggest low point throughout my life. That just feeling down, like I don't have anything after this. And if I don't make this work, I'm going to feel like disappointed. I'm going to feel upset with myself that out of my two dreams, none of them worked out. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I only I I got robbed and I robbed myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I'm hard. That's why I, I can explode and that's why I can be because it's like this is all I got. Or this is all I mm-hmm. want to pursue. Mm-hmm. And it's like Like basically like this is your last shot. Like yeah. And I mean that's kinda like, you know, my lowest points throughout this shit. It's just that that daily reminder. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys ever had like you know, a super low ass point in your life like that that hits you. Uh high school. Yeah? Yeah, it was definitely high school. Um turning fourteen, uh some of my, my dad left and all that. And uh like I went into high school not knowing like how to shave or anything. I never had a male role model. And everybody around not everybody around me. But a lot of people had male role models like that they could look up to, like an older brother or, or a father figure, like mm-hmm. like an uncle or somebody. And it kind of hit me really deep because I had to learn off of other people's experiences or just going out of a whim and just trying it, you know? Yeah. So, and it, it really hit me because then I had a feeling where, like, who am I? Because I'm learning off of other people's experiences mm-hmm. and then I'm learning by myself where I took... I took it so much to the point where no one, I never, I took it to a point where I had to get other people's validations mm-hmm. for like anything wow. and it sucked. And again, I it just, I didn't know who I was anymore. So that's why like in high school, like I never hung out with a single group. That's why I would always group hop because I didn't know that who, the homie I, yeah, yeah. I didn't know who to really sit with and like who I could see. Like freshman year and sophomore year, like who I could be with after high school, or like who, mm. who, who would I be with after high school? Who are my people? Right now, I know, and it's just it kind of it did make me a little. It made me sad to the point where like okay, like I started doing like drugs and stuff like that. Not mm. hardcore drugs. I'm not talking to like oh, I was doing like yeah, yeah, yeah I get a little it. smoker I get it. yeah but like i started smoking and drinking like a little too much and to the point where it was like like it made me feel like it made me feel something mm-hmm. like I, I felt numb almost all through high school uh-huh. and like i just didn't care that's why yeah. like i didn't care about school and that's why i went to a continuation high school but i was like you came back though yeah bounced i came back, back. yeah i bounced back because i wanted to make my mom happy uh-huh. and stuff like that and also because of that my mom didn't also believe that i would be able to succeed at mirror mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and that's like and i took that as like damn like am i, I prove a, wrong yeah like am i a dumb child or something like that like that's I how believe i believe in like dumb child no no no. Like, that, i don't think that's but that, that's how i took it and more of just like i need to prove this to myself and the only person that really believed in me was my sister believe yeah in you? no i know that but um that was honestly like yeah all of high school was probably like my lowest point and then i getting out of high school and having that freedom and, you know, being able to go out, I have a car and all, like, extra shit. That's when I was able to, like, really start to get to, like, discovering myself. Mm-hmm. Love that, bro. For my lowest point was, I mean, we we talked about it in the first episode. But when I was out the group, I oh, personally really? felt. I didn't I was, know that. Yeah. I, and, again, I don't know if I talked about it in the first episode already. But, um, like, me and Kelsey, we went to Canes one time. We were in the drive thru and I just started mm, crying. Yeah, I oh, I think yeah. I do remember. Yeah, and because it, it got to a point where I was like, I was working at, at FedEx and I tried so hard to make friends there. And I've never had a problem making friends, but right there, I felt like I had, I had to, I had to prove myself to like have people around me and to like have fun again. And don't get me wrong, I have fun with Kelsey and all this stuff, but. It's not the same from your friends and your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Like it's totally a different. It's it's a different. It's a different relationship that you have. So not having you guys around and literally, because honestly, to the people that I talk to every day is just you guys and Kelsey. So now just going from me and Kelsey, like, yeah, she had me, but she could only have me for so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to put all that stress on her, and like I couldn't rely on her for 
absolutely everything. You know what I mean? And it 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 dawned on me a couple of times where it's like, I don't want it to stay like this. And that was one of the things that I that added on to why I reached out and I made that fucking group chat of of like you know trying to joke around and stuff like that with the whole fucking joker meme and shit <laughs> and i'm glad that it worked out you know that i i now nah, homie was homie was seeing my tweets when i was like <laughs> subtweeting the group chat i was like man like i don't know i think i need a new circle homie was taking advantage oh, real of that. quick bro homie was he was keep on refreshing like hope they talk <laughs> about me hope they talk about me nah, yeah and like just just because it was Fuck! It was close to a year. Mm -hmm. It was, was like, like eight. eight it eight, was like eight, seven, months eight months where it was just me and Kelsey. And I, I'm so grateful for Kelsey for you know sticking holding it, you know mm -hmm. sticking by and holding it down for me. But at the same time, I felt like a big part of me was missing because needed your voice. Because I was yeah. gonna say when like when you were out the group, we didn't hang out as much, but I would always still try to keep in contact with you and stuff like that. Nah, so definitely, dog, and I'm so grateful for that oh. because. Like, <laughs> no, he called yeah, me an op. That's no, right. I know, but as much as as much as I wasn't in the group, I knew everything, everything that went on in the group. I, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Trey. Mm -hmm. But I like he still kept me in the loop, but it's still like dog. Yeah, I'm not there, the, you know. Because at the end of the day, like that's my brother. Like, I, yeah, I do anything for him. Yeah, so and I think if if Trey wasn't there, <laughs> couldn't fucking bring in the chairs. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but I, but besides that, like I don't think if if Trey wasn't there, still even God, like. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. My bad. My fault. No, yeah. no, no. My but bad. if Trey wasn't there, also because I would go over to Trey's house sometimes and we'd fucking like oh look at the car or whatever the fuck the case may be and and stuff like that. If Trey didn't try, I felt like I don't I don't know. I think I'd be at an even lower point. Well, I'm you glad. I mean? uh, like, I'm, not, I'm glad about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, glad yeah. like that we're back, bro. Because then mm -hmm. obviously, like if that means without us, you were in a very tough spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I bet we all, bro. We all used to be like, man, I miss John. Oh yeah. yeah. But the pride just would get to us, in a way. Mm -hmm. And fuck, I'm I'm happy, bro, that we're back. Yeah, definitely. What about you, Judge? What was your lowest point? I think it was. I think it was last year. Or like when John didn't wish you happy birthday, huh? Huh? Facts. I was waiting, bro. I was like, all right, bro. He really If was. John doesn't wish me happy birthday, that's no, it, bro. John. That's it, bro. I was fucking waiting all day, nothing. But it's all good, though. We're past that shit. Oh, my mom texted him. <laughs> this food didn't text her like three months later. I heard a bitch for that. I Thanks. didn't know it was your mom, though, bro. <laughs> and, and honestly, that I was John. Was your that mom, was John bro. texting me his mom's phone. <laughs> Damn, man. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> But you're saying What's it called? Nah, but it was like happy birthday, mijo. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, That's exactly what she said. I think <laughs> she didn't know anything about like the situation that happened, so she was like, "Oh, why didn't George text you back?" I'm like, bro, oh, I no. looked at that shit. Yeah. Like once I found out it was his mom, I'm like, bro, do I really just spill all the beans right now, bro? Like your son's a bitch. Not exactly. Just kidding. <laughs> nah, 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 okay, I'm okay. Playing, yeah. I'm playing. It's a joke. But um, nah, I think it was. I don't know if it was last year, the year or 2020, but it was when my dad left. And it wasn't necessarily because he left. Well, I mean, yeah, it was because of that. Because, like, even though I didn't have a good relationship with him, like, after, I think, after seventh grade, like, my relationship with him, like, went down. Yeah. And... <laughs> the drink was nasty. <laughs> know, but, Go ahead. I didn't try to interrupt. Yeah, but, it's um, just disgusting. I don't know how he drinks that shit. But, like, my relationship with him, like, went downhill. But just the fact that, like, he wasn't here anymore, no like, it still affected me. Mm -hmm. And then it also put me in a spot because, like, obviously, like, we lived together. And, I mean, he, you know, you know, he had the house and he was renting and all that stuff. Like, he, had, he, worried, he worried about all the bills. Yeah. But once he left, he pretty much told me, like, a week before, he's like, yo, I'm going to leave. Your You're on your own. Like, you, you know, you could stay here or you go to your mom or you could do whatever the hell, you know. But, yeah. like, I'm dipping. And, you know, that got to me because right. not only did it stress me out, but it gave me pressure. You know, I'm like, fuck. And then I started thinking about, like, all the possibilities and stuff like that. And then during that point, like, like it just, I wasn't at my happiest during that point, you know? And so once he left, I got into a mode where it's like, you know what? I have to make money now. Like, that's yeah. all I have to do. And that's yeah. where my focus went. I think before that happened, uh, me and you had a conversation over at, um, at the house. Not my house. But you pulled up and you were telling me this, and then I was like, I remembered. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. And we were talking about it. And I just told you like, you just have to like, you're gonna have to like strive now. Like no, I know yeah. you've been a striver, like you've been mm -hmm. a grinder, but 
now you got to kick it into second gear. And no, for like, sure. And and it definitely helped me. Like at the mm-hmm. end of the day, bro. Like like I'm not a negative person, bro. Like I see I see I see the silver lining in everything. Like you know? at this point, you got your own. Yeah, and and at you're, this point, like you're 21, and you have your own place. Exactly. So it's like, it helped me out, but it just made me lose myself because I just started focusing on nothing but the money. My passion for photography went out the fucking window, and it would just matter. If I'll do anything that pays good, you of know. Course, and yeah. I started doing a bunch of like shitty jobs that I didn't want, and and you know, and all that stuff. And it just, I was just, in, I just wasn't happy. Like I wasn't depressed, but I just wasn't happy with what I with like myself with what I was doing because in my head I'm like, bro, like you could do more than this, you know, like you're meant for more, like like no way you're stuck doing this stuff, you know. Yeah. And that was just my mentality, and I was just putting myself down. Then I started getting lazy with like all the photography stuff, and I'm like, bro, like I'm done with this crap. And then, and then like, I just started working like other jobs, like you know, working at restaurants and doing all this crap, and. Like, it sucked, bro. Like, I hated that feeling because I gave up. But not because, like, I said, fuck everything, but just because the stress and everything got to me where I was like, I have to let everything go and just working on surviving. Mm -hmm. As a side question, do you think most parents get that way once they have a kid? Definitely. I think I think if if you have a kid and you guys aren't in the right position financially, mentally or in the relationship or, you know, like it's going to get like that. Yeah. And then that's why, like, it goes, like, the fall, I mean, all the pressure, everything, and all the, like, the repercussion, like, the kid is the one who, who, who like, takes all that stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because then the parent doesn't really show love, but more of, and, like, damn, I just have to hustle and start providing for my kid. And the only way they could show love is just providing a roof. Providing, over. providing, providing, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's and that's how it is, you know? Yeah. And, and, and that's kind of like how my mom is. Like, I mean, she's not really in my life, but she's always provided. But her way of showing is providing. Mm-hmm. You know, so but yeah, I mean that was just one of the lowest moments in my life where it was like I gave up, but because I cracked under the pressure, I cracked under the stress, and then it wasn't until like, like ah, I forget, uh, like like I forget like the turning point, bro. I was just like, bro, one day I was like at the home, like at the house alone, bro. Like like it was when you weren't even in the group no more, and it was like a time where like we weren't like, really like kicking it and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and I was like here in the house like all alone, and I was like, damn, bro, like. I, I can't, bro. Ain't, like, yeah, ain't no one gonna help you. Ain't exactly. no one gonna help you if you're and you were you exactly and, like. And mind you, this is Georgia at twenty. Right? Exactly, I, that, that was me at twenty. And then I was like, bro, you know what, bro? Like, fuck it, bro. Like, I'm meant for more. Exactly. Like, I'm gonna do more. Like, there's no way that I'm stuck here, bro. Knowing what I have, knowing what I believe in, knowing the God that I have, like, bro, there's no way that that I can't succeed, bro. Like, the only one putting myself down is myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, that's, like, my success it depends on me, not anybody else. So, so, what do you think, like, if that's, you know, like, the turning point and all that, and and that aspect, it's, like, what is personally now, like, holding you back to being that person that you want to be? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to get out that now, but what do you think is holding you back? Definitely, one, the passion. Like you like passion at times? Where I lacked it because I started focusing on the wrong things. Mm. Right? I stopped focusing on my dream, like you said. I stopped focusing on my dream, on what I want to do. And I started focusing on just, like, just the money, honestly. And it's not bad because at the end of the Mr. day, like, bro, Krabs. like you need to survive. <laughs> 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 at the end of the day, like, bro, you need money to survive. Of course. Yeah. But I said it, money buys you happiness. Exactly. Like, like money it, it solves life. a shit ton of problems. So, but it just, like, I just started focusing on the wrong things, bro. And, and, and I hated that. So the thing now is like trying to get that passion back. And this is what I was going to go with, with like the first question that you asked, like, this is what's getting me back to that passion. This is what's getting my mind back on the like, okay, like, like, like this is something you could do because my dream has always been, dude, I want to, I want to be a business owner. I want to have a business and then also create, create content, whether it's videos, whether it's movies, because I want to direct a movie. I want to like become a cinematographer. So whatever the case is, but that's what I want to do. That's my dream. Yeah. And this is a th- like this sweet action is something that is gonna get like I feel that it's gonna get me there it's and it's help helping you, me yeah, get that, there that direction to exactly get you there. it's yeah. get and and it's just now 
I have something where I'm doing what I love. I'm creating content with you guys, especially like, like I love this. And this yeah. is fueling me to keep on going to do better and just to like get out of that rut, I could say, you know? Yeah. Wow. I mean, that shit, that shit is tough. Like, as in like, it's crazy, bro, because I think we all have something like, you know, that holds you back to be the person you want to be or something like that. You know, I don't know what you guys yeah. think. It's like what I've noticed because like me and Kelsey have talked about it and stuff like that. And uh, what I've noticed is me just getting comfortable. Mm. It's just being comfortable. I in, can agree with that. And and like how I mentioned earlier, like getting comfortable at the job that I'm at. Like I love. Don't get me wrong. I love that fucking job. This is one of the first jobs where I never want to leave it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I have to leave it. It's like a relationship. Yeah, yeah. like a bad, a bad <laughs> relationship. It's like a toxic relationship. Nah, a bad relationship. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's not that it's toxic because not like it harms me yeah. or it just like gets me sad. But it, but you know, I still want to be around it. Yeah. But it's just that. If I stick to this, I know I won't be able to do anything else later. Mm. You know? Yeah. And like I'm starting to slowly get that passion again for photography. And I'm glad that, you know, we do this. We have our fights. We have our struggles. We have this uh-huh. and that. But at the same I love that we have that because it shows that. That we have passion. That, right. Yeah. That there's passion. You know what I mean? And it's just be, being comfortable for me is probably my weakest thing. Is not knowing how to take that leap of faith and fucking just getting over myself on being scared of doing other things or just trying new things, you know. And that, that I think that's just for me personally is just being comfortable overall. Yeah, I, if I had to say that something that's holding me back, it, I, it's lack of knowledge. Mm, lack of well, knowledge. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, lack of knowledge because again, like for what I want to do. Uh, I know quite a bit. I know how, like, what could, like, what to diagnose in a car and stuff like that. But I only really know it for Japanese cars. Mm-hmm. And like, cause like again, when we looked at the El Camino and I saw the engine bay and everything, I was so fucking confused, <laughs> so confused. I was looking at it and I just, like, I, I don't know what to touch. Yeah. But like, if I go look at the Prelude, if I go look at the RX-7 or something like that, I know, I know exactly what to look mm-hmm. for and where to look. And stuff like that. Like, again, I go home and, like, I lay in bed and I look at engine bays or I look up on YouTube. Shout out to Chris Fix. Yeah, <laughs> Chris Fix, bro. And then, uh, now, like, yeah, I'd, like, study. But it's just, it's because I'm so focused because I love, like, uh, JDM. Mm-hmm. I need to, like, also get into American muscle. I need to get into German engineering mm-hmm. and stuff like that because wow. I don't. I don't know too much about yeah. those, like, problems. Like, everybody talks about, like, BMWs have problems and stuff. I don't know a single problem that a BMW could really have yeah. except memes that I see where it's like yeah, spe- burning oil yeah. and shit like that. Especially if you want to own a shop and stuff. Yeah. That we want to own a shop. It's like, bro, because that's also, and my bad to, no, know, no, try go, to go, fucking go. put it on me and stuff. But like with the El Camino, why it's not running yet, especially because I have all the parts, is because I look at that engine bay and I'm lost. I'm yeah. completely like, what the fuck? But meanwhile, with my Integra, I've seen my last Integra fully rebuilt strip the ins and out you the think. ins and out you know motherfucker like I, I held i got all the new parts and stuff like that and you know i was there with my uncle fucking putting it back together like he told me like yo take it apart <laughs> i'll be there i'll tell you what to take apart and how to take it apart but you you yourself is going to take it apart mm-hmm. and with this fucking el camino it being an american car is like fuck i'm lost and mm-hmm. my car's from 98 the el camino's from 87 there's a big time. There's a there. big gap right there, you know. So I I do understand mm-hmm. where you're coming from, Trey. Where it's like, fuck, I'm like I'm lost. Like, I was gonna say, for instance, like when we painted the car for the Integra, it was, you know, me and John sat there. We know how to take out the front bumper. We know how to, we like we changed his radiator mm-hmm. one time and stuff like that. It was just like little shit like that. Like we could, it's just we know how to do it. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just bolts. Uh, ah. I, at this point, I've learned how to, to tell a size of a bolt without even looking at the number. Like yeah, he, yeah, I'll, I'll oh, test damn. that motherfucker. I'll yeah. give him and a he random. Knows one. That shit? I yeah. give him a random. One. I'm like, hey, what do you think? And he'll he'll hold him like, oh, that's an eight. <laughs> and like, dog, like he's really fucking good at that. Yeah, shit. like okay, I, I, like, I just and the fact that I know that makes me happy. And it's mm-hmm. like it's like okay, like fuck, I'm actually learning something, mm-hmm. and it it just makes me want to strive even more. So it's the lack of knowledge for you then. It's the lack of knowledge, and then also just time. 
Mm. You know, like I love doing this. I don't want to change it for anything else because I know if I do this, it can help me out with what I want to mm-hmm. do. But it's you don't know how to time manage. That's yeah, what it I is. don't because then I have work and then I could work in the morning. I'm not a morning person. Mm-hmm. And then I know if I sit there and I fuck something up, I'm going to be it's going to ruin my day yeah. where it's like I want to have a day off and just work on the car. Yeah. And that's what I do sometimes. And then when I did that, I fucked up my window. Mm. And like, and it's like, fuck, like, you know, where it's yeah. like, now nah, I don't even want to touch the car like that, but I know I have to. And that's the one thing about being a mechanic where it's like, if you fuck up on something, you can't give up and you got to keep on going. And like, sometimes you got to Mickey Mouse shit once in a while, <laughs> but make but sure you have, have to. Have have to. Yeah. But once in a while, you got to get back to that problem and fix it and mm. actually like, take your time on it. Yeah, like me and Trey, we use blue duct tape, tape. to make that. Bro, that shit run. fucking works, bro. Yeah. I had that shit for like six months. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, no yeah, remember? Yeah. For, yeah, for, uh, when I hit the raccoon, remember? Yeah. And then that poor chisel. <laughs> but no, for instance, I had a, a Integra D8, and whenever the car stalled or it just was going to fast, the negative terminal would pop out. There was one time John, I was teaching him how to drive stick. It stalled and it popped out and my car like turned off. So you fucked the shit up. No, no, no. no. It was just, it was loose. That that terminal was just fucked. Yeah. And it was like, we thought like the car was fucking dead. Like it died, died. Mm -hmm. And then we went and looked in the engine bay. The shit was just popped up and we just put some blue duct tape on it and we were able to go home perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, bro? Did he answer the question? No, No. I never got an answer. Um... You know, honestly, <clears throat> it's me being honest, is uh, it's not like a multiple things, but they all kind of fall in the same category. But to start it off, it's like my biggest problem is that I try to please everybody. I try. I try to make sure that everyone that's around me is like the happiest and I put their their needs first. And that affects me because then... I put so much pressure, like so much pressure on my shoulders Mm -hmm. and all that pressure, all that weight breaks me down. And then the the, the top, the cherry on top of what is holding me back is that I don't know how to open up. I don't know how to ask for help. It takes like big, big, like, you know, breaking points or whatever it is for me to break loose and explode. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, keeping a buck like you just saw me last week. I think that was like the first time you ever seen me. Yeah. Have a meltdown. Dog, it was so, I don't want to say, I don't want to call it so bad, but it was just so. Talking about yes, sir? Like oh. eye opening almost to where even after like you got out the car and stuff and you went home, I cried to Kelsey because of how like, like taken back I was and how hurt you were. Like I, I felt every single word that you, that you said. Mm. And I was like, it, it hurts to see him like that, especially where. I mean, we all know how Carlos is. Where you know, <laughs> I put up we a know front. That, yeah, no, no, not to say that, oh, the motherfuckers putting up a front, but like I don't mean in that sense. <laughs> but it's just that we know who you are, and it just sucks to see you be the total opposite, and actually tell your feelings and how hurt you were and everything, because again, like he even said himself, like everybody thinks everything's good with me, but in reality. I got a lot on my mind and I got a lot on my plate. So for him to actually express that with the emotion that he had, mm. it was dog. The shit made me cry, bro. Like I'm, <laughs> like, I'm sure yeah, you saw a homie hurt. And that, like, yeah. I, guess to you, I, I saw a different side of Carlos that I didn't think I'd ever get to mm. see. Yeah, I show the clip now. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, Y'all recorded this? <laughs> um, yeah. So it's like, I think that's what holds me back to the mm. person that, I want to make sure everyone around me gets pleased. Mm-hmm. And therefore, I put all the pressure on me to help you get pleased. And then when it gets to that peak point, I don't know how to like mm. express for help, how to ask for help, how to break down. And I think a lot of people can maybe like connect with that. Where so, it's like, you know. So if you had to put it in one word, it'd just be like emotions. Like my emotions. Right? That holds me back mm-hmm. as a person. I don't know how to control my emotions. Yeah. I don't know how to like hold back emotions. I don't know when to express my emotions. I don't know how my emotions work within myself. And that's what holds me back as a person, whether it's in a friendship, it's in a relationship. Uh, sometimes even like, you know, doing like a business working together. Mm-hmm. I've, you know, I've always told you guys like I suck at that. And I'm always so sorry when I explode on shit like I shouldn't. And yeah, you know, that's what holds me back as a person mm-hmm. and all that. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I. 
it's just life. Yeah. And um, life I think, tough. yeah, life is tough, bro. And um, I, 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 I think we, we should light up the mood a little bit. And trust me on this, like, we should light it up because we got a little too serious. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we wanted to just kind of, like, have a little bit of fun. And, uh, you know, let's switch up. We still got the little Peter's Pizza time, but that'll be for another one. That motherfucker is on. He's, he's hanging out with Chris. He's on vacation. He's, he's on, on vacation. vacation with Chris. Yeah. If, you saw, cut, if, cut you saw, if you saw last episode, Chris wanted to meet him. We made it happen. So. Yep. <laughs> Dude, Peter probably like, yo, you motherfuckers better stop <laughs> saying some weird shit. That's no, not true. I'm just thinking, I'm like, dog, this fool's at home asleep, and he's gonna he's gonna wake up not knowing what went on until next week. Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Out, I remember bro. if his ears started ringing in the middle of the night, bro. I'm like, yeah, I had this weird dream. <laughs> nah, but something um, was in like, my butt. He's with Chris. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 light up the mood. Uh, you guys know this. You guys love it. You guys hate it. You guys want to. I don't know. Uh, we still got the same as always, but we got a little hot table questions, baby. You know, similar to the Peter questions, similar to the hot seat. It's just some fun, either interesting, putting on the spot questions just to light up the mood and put everyone on going. And uh, we'll just go. We know we'll start uh, We'll start with me and we'll roll it down and my DJ end with career. John. I'm going to start my DJ career. That's a good DJ career right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, first question right here is, uh, would you rather... Oh, what do you rather? Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or no one show up to your funeral? Gotta go first? Yeah, you can go, go first. Go first. <laughs> right. like, I, go first? I would say wedding. Motherfucker. Your wedding? Yeah, I always took weddings as John said it once to me, and where where it was it's uh basically uh you ain't gotta pay for that much for people to have like it like entertainment for other people. It's supposed to be for you and the yeah. person that you're, you know, you're you're setting your life with. Yeah. Where I don't mind a big wedding. Like if the person I'm getting married to wants a big wedding, I don't mind it. But I rather like it. And I'm not talking about I got to be in the backyard. Da da da. Nah, like I would want to do it somewhere nice and stuff like that. But you know, like hey, backyard weddings are actually fire, bro. But I just I don't need all the extra stuff to to signify my love for you. You know, yeah, I would okay. want the day to I, I, I would want the day to look nice. But I would want to make it where it's just us two. We say each other our vows, mm -hmm. and you know, like. But, but you want people at your funeral, though. I would rather, yeah. See, like I'm the opposite because to me, I've always thought about it like this: like, bro, I'm dead, bro. I <laughs> get two shits who's there. Like, not like I'm be like, oh yeah, like this motherfucker, like taking counts. You I'm, know, I'm gonna pull that TikTok trend. Just walk up. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> just kind of be like, bro. You See all these people around? <laughs> hey, wait, come on. I didn't even met these people. Huh? <laughs> so, so sad, bro. Who like, are they? <laughs> bro, I give two shits. When I'm dead, I'm dead, bro. If you show up, you show up. Like, don't matter. You know? Like, I mean, I get the whole paying respects and everything. And for sure, you know, like, I appreciate that. But, like, from true homies, you know, like, mm -hmm. from real ones. And if you're my real one, you'll show up. You'll show me respect. Mm -hmm. But it's like, if you want to be a part of my life and if you want to, like, show me that respect, like, while I'm yeah. still here, you know? I, I kind of wanted to clarify why I didn't pick the funeral one. It's because I get the whole, like, the whole, like, oh, you're dead. No one, mm -hmm. you're not going to know if nobody's there. But I'd rather you guys be at my funeral than be at my wedding because the wedding, again, I would want you guys there. So what you're saying is that you'd want to no, oh. I would want you guys there, but if I'd rather you guys be there for my, like, not my last moments, but the last time you would ever see my body. Like, I'm not going to the fucking view, brother. I'm gonna take, I'm going I'm gonna to take a picture. Oh no, you guys actually, like, I actually, I would take a picture with John. You don't know how I want my funeral. I want a Viking funeral. Oh, yeah, yeah. who's always said that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're gonna be rap fucker. You're not gonna be like nah. out in the open. Nah, I want to be out in the All open. All right, I want to see your dick then. All right, fully nude. Yeah. Like, can we set it? In, like, you think we'll you, care you, you think you can nut after you're dead? <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe. I mean, try it, try it, try it, try it. Let me know how it works. Well, because no blood's pumping. True. You want people at your wedding or your I funeral? I think I would want people at my funeral. Really? Yeah, because at my wedding, I, it's for me and Kelsey. You know? Oh, it's like, oh, hey, hey, he's coming. I just heard that he don't want no Yo, one, bro. This recorded. Yo, I plan on marrying this bitch right whoa, now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Put some respect on her back. Nah, so, uh, yeah, like, I mean... Uh, like we even talked about in the last episode, you know. No, like, wait, wait, sorry, time out because George said put res some respect on her back, right? And I was like, that's not the only thing. After that night, chill. after tonight, who knows? It's chill. Uh, <laughs> hey, after we see it, after that video that we see, bro, 
What? what? <laughs> go ahead. So, go ahead, John. Um, yeah, I would, I would much rather have people at my funeral. Yeah, I may not see them or all that, but I do it for my family. And I know it shouldn't matter, but oh, I would want my family to know that I'm important. That people care. Mm, and I get I it. See, shit, I see it, what it, you see, I, you, don't kind of argue me, bitch. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just want my family to know that people care about me. And I get it. It shouldn't matter, but I would want that for them. Yeah, I get it. There's I, other I, I people besides them mean. that see, care about me. See, but I think me. that at funerals, there's a lot of fake people that go, bro. Just to show face. And, you and don't I think, don't fuck with that. And you don't think it's like that at weddings? Yeah, but you have the choice whether who goes or not. You see what I'm saying? You act like people don't invite other people besides. There's been plenty of plus ones and shit, but it's like. I mean, I think yeah, but they, they, funeral, they stick to like that rule of plus if, ones. Uh, if, let's say, one of you guys died, right? And we set up the funeral for you, if maybe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's also not like open invitation. I think it's kind of like, hey, like. Eh. It's people see, that oh, are yeah, fucking no, honest, sure. bro. Like For if, sure, for sure. I know it went, like, God forbid. But if. I, yeah, like what you said, like it's not open up an invitation. I would want to make sure I know. Okay, John fucked with him. Yeah, now nah, he got to come. I know, like. But how would you know that if you're dead? How would I? You know your boys. I know. Yo, my boys. yeah, he was talking about that if he was planning one of our weddings. I mean, mm -hmm. one of our weddings, one of our. our like, like, I'm our pretty funerals. fucking sure, bro. If one of you guys passed away in the future and, like, I'm still kicking, I'm going to make sure I fucking get involved in your wedding. I'm not just going to yeah. be like, I'll just show up when you yeah. Uh, you were my boy, and like, <laughs> and like you know, like yeah. I'm gonna make sure I take big part of making sure you get the wedding, the the, the funeral you deserve. Yeah, but uh, I, I I'm not gonna go add on. I agree, literally, mainly on, I kind of agree with with George, but then I see what you guys mean on your funeral. Yeah, because with weddings, or, like Doug, that's a lot of money to be spending, yeah. especially on just one day, funerals and with too. a lot of people. Yeah, definitely funerals, funerals too. too. Yeah. I mean, with me, yo, cheap as you can go. I can carry nah, two shits. I, my boy. My boy deserves the best, bro. Hey, final final answer is wedding or funeral? You want people at your funeral? A funeral. You want people at your funeral? Wedding. Wedding. Funeral. Funeral? What's yours? <laughs> wedding. The reason I say that just quick is just because that's, Boo, tomato, that's tomato, my tomato. celebration <laughs> day, and that's when everyone should be happy. The day I die, if you respected my legacy or whatever it is, you show up. If you don't, you don't. That's cool. That's how I put it. Same well, thing as a wedding. At the end of the day, bro, people that I truly love my life will show up, and that's it. And if you don't, you a bitch. I hope you see this in a couple of years. In a, not a couple. In a <laughs> lot of years. Uh, but yeah, Trey, go ahead. Take us to the next one here, baby. Okay, let me. Would you rather have one minute, a one minute convo with no, your... No, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta zoom in. You gotta zoom in. Would you rather have a one minute convo with your past self or with your future self? Um, would you have uh, have a one minute combo with your past self or your future, future self? Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna say <laughs> my past self. Why? I'm gonna tell that motherfucker. Motherfucker, okay, hit the weight room, bitch. Uh, I'm gonna tell that motherfucker in 60 yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, this is what you need to do. You gotta go hit the weight room. Make sure you stay in shape. Make sure you fucking uh, do this. Hop on these trends before people do. Um, it, 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 listen to Trey when he went, yo, Carl. No, no, no. <laughs> just, just, just when George got a fucking car. Don't go out to eat. Don't go out to eat. It's simple as that. Go when, play soccer. Yeah. <laughs> go play soccer. Don't go out to eat. If you guys are going to go in the car. I wouldn't talk to my future self because I want that shit to be the future. That's the reason it's the future. Where it's a mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. True. The past self. Yo, I don't we, regret 99% See, but the past can switch the future, though. Bro. That's true. And maybe, yeah, maybe model cars For the bad. would be not with you guys. Not just kind of Hey, who knows, bro? The, uh, the simplest and easiest cop out. Invest in Bitcoin, my boy. Invest Bad. in Bitcoin, Amazon. Hey, you Apple. thinking, my guy? My guy. This is easy. That way, by and the Tesla. future. Yeah, and that way, by the future. Shit. I'm golden pony boy. But what if future self knows what's better in the future that can tell you you need to do facts? That. It's a fucking, it's a hit or miss. We can talk we about already this one know the because episode. the future, the future is, a, is like, oh, who knows? But meanwhile, the no, past, we already in the future, so he knows what happens. No, after. because the thing is with the future, it's a, Whoa. it's a guessing game. You still don't know for sure yet. Whoa. No, because that person's in the future. Then Wait. tell me what happened in the future. What companies are big? Boom, Wait. you don't know. Shit. Me I don't know now because I'm not Wait. in the future. Exactly. Wait. Meanwhile, what in the past, what tray, what tray? In the just, past we already knew what happened. I'm just having, a big, I'm having a big brain fart right now because it's like a brain queef. Yeah, it's basically. Your past self, if 
It's just like the fact that <laughs> your Jeez. past sets your past self can. If you talk to your past self, you set yourself up for today, for the present. Facts. You talk to your future self from today, you'll set up yourself in the future. That's how it is. So which one uh, do you no, care what, about? What, what, I'm what I'm basically saying is like the the answer kind of contradicts itself. In a way, yeah. In a way, because you could say like, oh, have your past conversation, right? But then in that past conversation, you're really talking to your future self. Like, it's like, you know, it's final it goes both ways at the end of the final day. Final answers. Who gives a shit? I'm talking to your past self or future self? Oh, past. 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 I'll tell a motherfucker, hey, be We're careful for past, COVID. Bro. We're just going to all tell each other. The Predict secrets. COVID and put bets on it. Shut the right. fuck up. <laughs> all right, Easy. Josh, take us away. Oh, Go shit. Ahead, all right, bro. Would you rather have... Oh, my bad. This was would you rather have a one minute? Co- oh, yeah, I just read that. No, one. You just on the other All one right, bro. Know. Would you rather fulfill your biggest wish or resolve your, your biggest, biggest failure re- or regret? Regret. Oh, I was supposed to read that one. <laughs> it's okay, guys. <laughs> um, just fulfill your biggest wish or resolve, or resolve your, your biggest, biggest regret. regret yeah. Either you pretty much, it's kind of similar to the third one where it's like you set up yourself. Mm. My biggest regret is. What's my biggest fucking regret? I think my biggest nah, re- need to try. personally, my biggest regret will be my biggest fulfillment, which so is just not doing enough mm. overall. So I feel like either way I go, would we'll probably go to the same route. Please, but please. yeah, because for me, my biggest fulfillment is to do so much and to gain so much that I don't have to worry about other things. I don't have to worry about going to work. I don't have to worry about these little bills or whatever. I don't have to worry about, is my mom good? I don't have to worry about, you know, a little shit like that. Nah, because mm-hmm. I did, my biggest fulfillment is I did enough. Yep. And, my, okay. and my biggest regret is I didn't do enough. Yep. Hmm. I just tell myself, brother, stay in shape. That's my biggest regret. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all of work. Sorry, no, nah, not sure, sure. If I had to say my, I would honestly say my biggest regret. And my biggest regret is not dedicating to school. Mm. Mm. I was expecting that. Harvard Trey. Yeah. Harvard Trey. Like when you made the joke where like America talking Trey. about going to Harvard and stuff. Like, dude, I actually wanted to go to college. Yeah, but I didn't mean it. Like, no, 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 can't no, no, go no. to college. <laughs> I just meant like Harvard, Trey bro. For class president. president. Not like I genuinely. I remember telling myself, um, beginning freshman year, before, going to Harvard. No, no, before no, no, bigger than that. Well, not bigger than that, but before like my dad left and stuff i had like i actually wanted to like strive in school and become valedictorian mm-hmm. yeah like i i really wanted to strive like i remember i spent that whole summer my dad even he took me to like classes to like really like for math and mm-hmm. stuff like that and like other stuff and it was again, what went wrong again high school wasn't hard. like it wasn't hard but what went wrong was just just I, being um i now. just i just after my dad left and like family problems and mm. shit i was just not motivated anymore mm. and like and then getting to school you know like i had no problem working up at the time and stuff i just didn't have the motivation and i just didn't care mm-hmm. i didn't care who was watching or anything because i also like i felt like i really lost a part of myself to the point where i wanted to do all those things but like again there was even a fucking big point where i wanted to be a lawyer <laughs> but yeah and you would have been helping johnny depp right now bro yeah but I just I didn't care, and that's honestly my biggest regret. Where I was like, I didn't dedicate to school. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. What are you, Georgie? Definitely, I think like, I think I would say like, fix my regret because there's a lot of there's a lot of regrets that I have, but there's a lot of business regrets that I did that I would I would go back, and if I know that if I were able to redo them again, my future or my present now would be in a better position. Like what? If yeah, stop with. <laughs> hey, bro, no cap. They're actually booming right now, yeah, too. Booming. I'm not going to lie. Shout out to Vic and Via's Tacos. Shout out to Via's Tacos, bro. Like, search them. Best tacos in LA. Facts. Too. I was going to go eat there today, but I didn't. Hey, I, hey, I don't know if hey we should get place. them on the podcast. The homie, the homie Vic. Vic. Yo, if you guys know them, comment down and we can make it happen, bro. Dude, That's the brother. Hey, That's the homie. This, That's the doggy this, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. Last yeah. time I've been there, I remember he even told me, tell George I He's said He's the hi. king of tacos in yeah, LA, he told, bro. Yeah, he would always he'd tell us, too, whenever we'd go. Like, tell uh, George I said hey, what's up with George? Like, where's what that food doing? I know you guys want that man in here. Via's Tacos, bro. The king of LA, bro. Victor Via. Nah, I feel you, bro. Yeah, well, we got big moves. Well, it looks Ooh. like we're all like fixing regrets, huh? Yeah. yeah, I like that, man. John, take it away. Close it out, baby. 
Oh yeah, with the last question, right? <laughs> Sorry, I was about to give that. Was, no, it's because I thought I thought we were still going on that last question. I thought you didn't you didn't give it. Give it to me. But uh, this give one. All right, now this is gonna take a little turn for the worst, depending on your guys' answer. Oh, we're really asking this one? Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to leave your answer on this one. This is from my <laughs> bro. He's been pushing <laughs> this one, bro. This is from Jonathan's collection. Yeah, this one is secret from stash. personal collection. Would you rather fuck a dog and no one knows or not fuck a dog, but everyone thinks you fucked the dog? Bro, who approved this shit? That shit took a turn. <laughs> yeah, this one took a turn for the worst. I think we cut the music for this one. <laughs> cut the beat. Are you fucking the dog and no one knows? I am. Or are you not fucking the dog and everybody thinks you know? And when we mean everybody, everybody. I am fucking a dog. You're fucking a dog? Yes. Brother. You know how fucking horrible that's gonna be? Like your whole life, everyone's gonna know this motherfucker. A touched, dog molester. Touch, did, ate, whatever you wanna do to a yeah. poor dog. I'd rather just fucking and people do, love do dogs. it. I'll just fucking yeah. do it and no one will ever fucking know. And it's the best secret ever kept away. All right. I will fucking hate myself okay. for doing it, but yeah. And to raise up the stakes, <laughs> it'll be a pit bull. <laughs> the only hey, Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser. Hey, my boy and I, Kaiser got a little, little. Hey, we'll put a picture of Kaiser. My That's boy, the dog. Uh, my boy, Kaiser, and I got a little love connection. Yeah. That's my boy. I'll do anything. I play with his balls all the time. <laughs> you yeah, actually do. <laughs> He's saying pit bull. Mia. Hey. Hey, what do you. Well, you want to pick a, a different dog fucker? <laughs> you <No>. dog fucker? <laughs> 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 I'd have to go with Carlos. I, you have to. Because people love dogs and stuff like I that. I fucking no dog, People bro. love dogs, but I can't. But we're I, all going to think that you did. And look, that's going to live with you. Yeah. As long as and God knows joke, I didn't, bro, that's all that matters, joke, bro. And the one joke that's going to be like, stick with me is like, yeah, you got bitches. Are they the uh, right bitches? <laughs> I'm not fucking a dog. I'm not fucking a dog, bro. So you guys just would continue your lives knowing that you guys, everyone thinks truly. Like I said, bro, as long as God knows I didn't fuck a dog, bro. Yeah. Me and Kelsey have two cheeky babies, and but I even, I can't, Kelsey, even Kelsey Kelsey's thinks, gonna think that you fucked one of your own dogs, and, and will you be gonna, comfortable knowing that you truly believe that? And exactly, she, she'll yeah. probably like leave she you. She ain't bro. a real one, yeah. bro. And I think that <laughs> <laughs> I should give you an answer right here, bro. And I think that'll be enough. Just playing this job. I think fire it, me. I th- obviously, if Kelsey like she don't believe me. That's I'd it. Is she a real one? I'd be a hurt, but I know I wouldn't want to put a dog, something so innocent, through something like that. Because <laughs> I know that I have. Okay, motherfucker puts it that I have way. a dog. I, I want to change my answer. <laughs> Why? Saying, whatever, dog. No, that's how you put it. It's like, because, dude, I love dogs. And exactly. But, yeah. hey. All right, one well, in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Your answer stays there forever. Dog fuckers. <laughs> dog, go, dog. Look, when you guys go home, look at your fucking dog. Yeah, I will Definitely. look at him and I will rub his balls and give kiss Send him a kiss. Send a yeah. pic. Dog we'll fucking, it, dog fucking. You're a dog fucker. <laughs> Trey's a dog fucker. Everybody knows that now. And bro. you yeah. got no. Hey, stop. <laughs> I, I think it's something we're Everybody knows about. that, bro. <laughs> hey, play Wait, no, there, bro. George didn't give his answer. Right? I did. Yeah, I said they, it. They, I said I ain't fucking, fucking no dog, bro. Uh, we're fucking the fucking duos. Don't shake me. All right. The fucking duos? It's time to wrap up the episode, John. Are you sure? Let me ask Kaiser if you're sure. <laughs> nah, I'm sure. I can't take it anymore, these dog fuckers here. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yeah, it was a little dark in the beginning. Uh, not dark. Right, not dark, yes. but serious tone. Uh, I did. Yeah, a little, a little a more serious tone. Because um, like I'm not going to lie. We've tried this in the past and we scrapped a few episodes just because of how it turned one. out. We scrapped two. They'll be on our Patreon if you guys want to see. No, they're not. There's no fucking Patreon. There's no Patreon. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Yes. Nah, yes. but uh, uh, I, hopefully you guys like this. Um, we definitely, if you guys like it, depending on on how the the um, the audience receives it. If you guys would like um, to hear more of a serious tone, we we'll definitely try. Another, we we'll definitely try more Hello. episodes. Yo, this is my fucking closing. Stop oh, joining okay. in. Do that shit right. Yeah, I'm gonna get started. <laughs> My fault, OG. Anyways, if you guys like this, please let us know. We love your feedback, uh, especially the one on that Chris episode, because that shit was good. Uh, and I think Trey could close it off. Trey, you got that camera, this, this camera, camera, that, that camera. camera. All right, guys. Uh, respect right. your parents. Yeah, respect your parents. You know, stay in school. Go make daddy a sandwich, Trey. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> <laughs> stay in school and, you know, keep striving for what you believe in and don't give up on your dreams. True. Because... 
honestly, once you stop dreaming, you know, or you just, Harvard is knocking. You just got to open yeah, the door, bro. Basically. But we love you guys. Stay frosty. And, you know, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Love like, you guys. Bye. comment, oh, yeah, share. Come on, Trey. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We love you guys. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. We love you. Bye. Peace. Dog fucking. Dog fucking. Dog fucking. Oh. Ain't no way. Watch Ain't no mouth. fucking way. Watch your mouth. Shut up. I ain't fucking up. Dude, I, I don't. I don't. Nah, nah, everybody's gonna think you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs>